uh, my, my, my drive has been always uh, the desire to learn. So, so that's one thing. But I think that that's that's my you know my my, my passion for the the drive to keep going. Um, so tell me, how did the little boy of about? 14 years of age was able to migrate from El Salvador to the United States of America becoming one of the top engineers at El uh... Well, it's, it's a, it was a long, it was a long journey mm. and um, um, with all that, um, all, uh, what do you say, all the uh, communism that was going on, uh, my mom decided that, you know, it was not, uh, the environment was not good for me because I was at the, at the age that I could be impressionable by being, um, uh, what is it, um, coerced or actually uh, kind of uh, led into, um, you know, uh, joining a group that would actually be bad for the country. Mm. So, so she and my older brother decided that, you know, um, they would, we, uh, we would leave El Salvador together and uh, we basically, uh, you know, got our passports and uh, we got all our passport, all the paperwork, all the legal documents, all the way up to uh, Mexico. Okay. And then uh, from Mexico, we pretty much kind of uh, we were illegals at that point. <laughs> so uh, our, our our paperwork pretty much kind of uh, left us in Mexico City. Wow. And then from Mexico City on, we pretty much we didn't have any a passport to actually enter the U.S. Wow. So uh, our journey started uh, at 14, and uh, from there it seemed like a from bus to bus to bus. To coming in down to uh, you know uh, in, in Rio Grande, we met a we met a, a good friend along the side of it that that pretty much kind of helped us uh, you know uh, kind of the, the last hurdle of actually entering the U.S. So mm -hmm. we illegally kind of crossed the river and with uh -huh. a whole bunch of other uh, illegal aliens and um, we you know we end up in uh, in San Antonio, Texas. Wow! So wow. from from there we were there for you know we were there for maybe um, a month, a month and a half. Then my second oldest brother that was in Oregon ended up, uh, you know, um, we contacted my brother here, here in Oregon and he said he'll buy us a plane ticket and um, we actually flew from, from San Antonio to Oregon and here I am. <laughs> that was nice, but, but what kept you going during that process? Because I'm sure you must have faced a lot of challenges, you know, on the way while trying to come into the U.S. What actually kept you going? Uh, I, I think that uh, the... the a dream, I guess. Mm. So uh, when you uh, when you watch movies and you see these huge buildings, you go, "Man, I said, one day, you know, I wanna I wanna be in that big building and look down and I go, yes, I this I live in that hundredth floor." But <laughs> when I when I came to Oregon, I mean, there was no building. <laughs> so we're sitting over there going, "Where's all the buildings that I like New York?" I and mean, we see all these movies. Uh, it was uh, I think it was Kramer, I think the movie. I can't remember what it was, but um, we watched this movie where you know. People come in, they, they come from work, and they jump in the elevator. The elevator goes up, and then a hundred floors later, you know, they, they oversee in the city. And, I mean, that was, you know, that's what I picture of the U.S. That's what I thought of it. But, but then, when you came into the U.S., right, you didn't really see all those big buildings. But then, you went back to school, or you tried as much as possible to, to, to groom yourself off, right? And then, you're becoming... Oh, you are even an engineer, right? One of the top engineers right now in your company. So, what motivated you to follow that path? Why didn't you give up along the line and probably become just one street boy, doing nothing, wasting your life? So, what kept you going? Because you actually went to school, you did, an, you had an associate degree in electrical engineering, mm -hmm. and then you went to the university, you had your business administration position, and then you worked in various companies up to the point that you are at this top engineering position right now something must have uh you know made it to go through all these phases to be able to achieve your your dreams so what kept you going uh, what what drove you along this line so uh my 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 drive has been always uh that decided to learn so mm -hmm. so that's one thing but i think that that's that's my you know my my, my passion for the the drive to keep going 
Um, but along the side, it wasn't just me that you know accomplished. I I think there was a, a good people that came along and said, hey, you know, uh, I'm gonna help you. And and uh, between um, helping you uh, with school, helping you uh, find, you know, uh, make sure that you that you actually you know were going to school, find a school for you, and uh, kind of point you in the right directions. I think that you know coming to the U.S. was one of the uh, one of the, the biggest uh, the the hurdles to overcome was to uh, meet people and try to learn English. So when I first when I first walked into the U.S., I mean, I knew black, red, one, and two, mm. and and uh, meeting the people that came along to willing to teach you how to speak English. I mean, teach you about the school system and basically take you on as a family member and help you. I mean, go to school and basically give you the tools and your your ability to uh, you know the drive to learn just kept. I think that's what that's what kept me, you know, in school. I wanted to learn and I wanted to know what, you know, that what I wanted to do with my life.